We had never done anything like this at Knox before. We are a small school. We don't have a school of television or communications or media. We have terrific media staff, but this was an entirely new experience for us. And uh, we had constraints. We have our commencement always in front of an historic building, but it's hard to get you know, a truck anywhere near it. The, the power to the site is, is a problem. We have a limited tent space. And their work was so remarkable because all of these things we thought were going to be problems, they just took it in stride. And they said, oh yeah, yeah, getting the truck. Well, we'll have to do it another way. And here's how we can do it. It was an engineering problem to be solved and it could be solved easily. And they had such confidence. Another thing about it that was fascinating to me was how quickly they understood the unique qualities of our history as an institution. Uh, we are an historic small liberal arts college. It was founded in 1837. The building in front of which we have commencement is the only surviving site of a Lincoln-Douglas debate. The commencement has always started with the ringing of the college bell, which is up in a cupola on top uh, of the building. and. Nobody had said anything to them about that. We said, well, you know, when you hear the bell ring, that's when the procession will start. Well, what happened then was that the person who's operating the camera panned forward from the processing party up the length of this very historic building to the cupola and came in tight on the bell, ringing back and forth and clanging. And it was such an iconic image but we had never said to them, hey, there's an iconic image, you need to capture it. They figured it out just by coming in the day before and looking at the site. They helped a school do something we'd never done before, do it with real sensitivity to our history and our culture and the messages we wanted to convey. They gave us confidence that we could do it. And honestly, we decided that we were always going to stay with them to do this kind of production because it was a better production. And it gave us the capacity to reach an audience that couldn't be in Galesburg, Illinois on a particular Saturday or Sunday. It allowed us to reach international audiences, alumni everywhere, grandparents, great-grandparents. It was really a wonderful experience for us all, and I would heartily recommend them.